Good morning. So I'm where I want to be on this adventure. And I have been wanting to do this for a long, long time since last year. So it's even before last year. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. It's chilly out here. Okay. Turn the camera around and show you. Yep. I'm going fishing. So this is, I don't know if you can see the sign. It says Rainbow uh, something Spring Camp. It's a trout farm. And I had to go over that bridge. It's about as wide as the van. And uh, a little sketch. All right. Go get a pole. There it is. It's the Rainbow Trout Farm. So we're fishing with old school bamboo poles. No uh, bobbers. We used to have those at our cabin, and we would go out on the pontoon and just throw a line out. And so, oh, where is it? You use this. I guess it's like blood worms or something, so you peel a little bit off and the moist the, the more moist it gets the softer it gets and then they just come up i don't know if you can see them in there but how beautiful but here's the thing i had to go put on warmer clothes i got my down vest on i got this on i got a flannel on and i grabbed uh i guess this is appropriate for rainbow trout uh my gloves I have not taken a fish off in forever. So, and then they fillet them for you and you can bring them home or you can cook them here on the grill. So I'm gonna bring them home and if you don't know, I know how to fillet a fish. So my uncle bought, my dad bought the property for our cabin, it was at the very end. And then my uncle bought it, so we had cabins next to each other. And he even had a fish house that we would go in and play the fish after we caught them. So, a little too good about me. Okay, and I forgot my stand, so I'm gonna set you up somewhere around here. Let's go fishing. Can you see them? Oh, there's a baby one. And there's no catch and release. You just have to catch them. And, yeah, see how this goes. Okay, I'm basically just feeding them at this point. I got two. Take them off. Tracy in the wild. Bear grill, give me a call. Okay, I'm trying a new spot. There's a lake over there and a, I should say a pond over here. So that one over there had so many leaves that my bait was falling off. So let's try this one. See how windy it is out here too. So you take the, well you said it's like blood worms and something else, and you put it on like that. Let's 
see if I have any luck over here. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying. I'll let you know what I get. Oh, and look at how pretty that is behind me. And there's a mountain. I got one. That's a pretty big one. Oh, ooh, that's a big one. Sam? All right. Take care of him. Look at how big this one is. And one more. This is the lucky pond over here. So this is it. I only wanted to catch four. Um, and then I'll see if anybody else wants that. So, yay. This was fun. Takes me back to my childhood. Okay, that was so fun. That brought me back to my childhood. Even the bamboo uh, canes. Um, you know, no bobber, no nothing, just put it on, put it in and, you know, catch fish. So, but I do want to say too, that I understand it's a fish farm. And although I'm not for fish farming, um, that it's no catch and release. So you catch it, you eat it. Uh, he filleted it for me. Um, I got four of them. So I got this. And Donna and I will cook them tomorrow. And um, yeah, gotta buy some stuff to roll them in. And yeah, I'm looking forward to fresh fish. So like I said, I would never, um, yeah, I'm not a hunter or, you know, I haven't fished in a long, long time. But if I am gonna fish, then I'm going to eat the fish and be grateful that, um, you know, for the fish. So I just wanted to clarify that because I'm sure that some people are like, well, Tracy, um, but yeah, so got them, gonna eat them, let you know how it goes. So yeah, that was really fun. And uh, I may be back before I come back. So that, they charge you by the fish and then the equipment, and then it's per inch per fish. Uh, I can't remember how much it is, but um, you can look up Rainbow Trout Farm in Sedona and you'll find it and it gives all the information but it cost me like $52 for that whole experience which I thought it would be less but honestly for something that I haven't done in so long and that I got so much joy out of it was well worth it and you know it just it made me miss my dad because my dad's the one who taught me how to fish I learned how to handle money from my dad I learned how to be able to be outdoors and build stuff from my dad so it just uh makes me miss him all right i'm gonna get going donna and i are going to prescott so no rest for the weary come on let's go guys get in the back chuck chuck you okay <laughs> all right get in let's go donna and i and scouty are we going all right prescott Oh, we're supposed to stop, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> we're crossing. Oh, there we go. I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're in Prescott, oh. yeah. Look at how cute the town is. I'm going to turn this around and show you. It's a cute little, like, town square. There's... Yeah. Pretty. We're going to the hat store. Yeah, pretty. That's coming. It gets really I know. Well. The sun's hitting it just we right.
good morning. Although it's about, I don't know, 1.30, something like that. I'm out here taking Scouty for a walk. It's perfect weather today. Um, Donna had to go to a meeting. Perfect. And uh, yeah, I actually was working on jewelry and I'm gonna go back now and take pictures. So uh, I'll hopefully have it up on the website soon. I have quite a bit. I probably have like, I don't know, 10 pieces to put up on the website. So um, yeah, kind of a casual day today. And tonight uh, we are going to eat the fish I caught. We're gonna make the trout. We have to figure out how to make it. So it still has the heads on it. He um, filleted them. Let's go. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna figure that out. We got some asparagus and so we'll see how that goes. All right, Rick Scouty home and then take the pictures of my jewelry and yeah, kind of a low key day today. But I'll show you how we do the fish too. All right, <gasps> on Scout. <laughs> they got the Christmas wreath up. Welcome to Tracy's Kitchen. I was so into it, I forgot to uh, show you how uh, I'm the chef today. We're having, I'll having turn in some sweet potato fries. Watch out, Scout. You get cooked. Yep, we got asparagus cooking in there. And look at these beauties. Oh, that's, I've already um, put, so I watched a video, and you put olive oil on both sides. And then you put olive oil inside, salt, pepper, put a little garlic, lemon wedges, and then you cook them for 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of the fish. And then you cut these off afterwards. So I'll we, show you. We have extra. Yeah. So we're <laughs> going to see if the neighbors want it. Yeah, I was such a fishing uh, aficionado. I got four of them. <laughs> so we're going to bake this at 400, and let's see how it all turns out. Yeah. And I, um, so just took it out of the oven and look at that. It just like nice falls apart. Lady. Yeah. So, okay. And then we have the asparagus and we still have the mm -hmm. fries in the Your cooking. Oven. Yep. Getting a little Almost crispy. there. I, I have <laughs> Dr. Tischler in the operating I'm in room a, theater. Yes, I am operating. Yes. yes. We have to take the bones out. She so. is deboning. Yep. And, and look at this. Though. Wait, did you take the head off? Yeah. Yeah, wait, let's get this one. We'll get okay. this one on camera. There, the, the head. Anybody oh. with the eyeballs? <laughs> <laughs> That's appetizing, isn't it? Oh my it? god, Scouty would probably eat the head. Oh my and god. I'm like gonna puke. <laughs> oh wait. <there. laughs> Put that oh, in yours. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Why not? I hate you. <laughs> the continuation of surgery okay, yes yes so i saw this on a youtube video and they said then you take did you like it look at and then you Ooh. just debone it like that oh yeah you know chef uh -huh. chef school is in the cards for me next uh, isn't that great yeah okay okay right, debone donna's plating i'm plating look at that Hey, this is like a five-star restaurant. It is. It's like... <laughs> it is a five-star restaurant. Is. That's our next venture. That's it. Our next venture. Yes. <laughs> I'll catch. I'll catch all the fish, okay? All we'll, right. But we'll, we'll tell you how I taste them. So I'm going to try the fish. I think the eyeball went in that. Mmm. <laughs> and the asparagus is so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Heaven. What do you think? Okay, we're in the bathroom. You know what that means. No, actually tonight I'm not really gonna give a talk. I am tired, I am going to call Joy. I am going to get ready for bed and watch something and uh, yeah, be up early tomorrow. We're having dinner with the neighbors tomorrow. We're um, ordering Szechuan. I don't know if that's how you say it. 
but with both neighbors, the neighbors next to us and then the neighbors over there. They're so nice. So it's just such a nice community here. Um, these neighbors were gone, they just came back today, so we took their two dogs up for a walk with Scouty um, at like four o'clock. So anyway, uh, yeah, uh, fishing uh, brought me back so many good memories and I'm so happy that I did that. Um, somebody said, you know, cause I had asked if you want three or two videos and you know what? I think that maybe I'll start to plan to do two, but then if I have more, because I am really doing a lot now and somebody said, Oh, I think that maybe, you know, you're trying to do too many adventures. Even if I wasn't like doing this for YouTube or posting it, this is what I'd be doing anyway. And I think I told you, so it's balls to the walls adventures this year. And with Donna, if you remember last year, I didn't get a day off. I mean, I remember thinking, ah, can we just like sleep in a little later today? But Scotty waits on me every morning to take her out for a walk. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, and um, where I'm going in Georgia, they're already talking about adventures. They have one that they came up with that I wanted to actually do in Louisiana. So it'll be great to do it there and get to do it. So um, yeah, whatever I can do to make an adventure, that's what I'm doing. This year is all about the adventures. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of, we have a couple things planned. So I can't believe uh, Thanksgiving is next week. And I said I was leaving the first week of December. It seems like I just got here and it seems like we've done something every day, but I still feel like there's not gonna be enough time. This is what happened last time. I'm like, I gotta get going, I gotta get on the road. And uh, yeah, just never, there's just so much to do here. Um, but yeah, I'll take you along on all the adventures that uh, that I got going on and coming up. So if you're uh, ready for the journey, then hop in and let's go. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. So you know what to do. Go out and make an adventure. No matter how big or how small, you can just go fishing or you could just go look at fish or you could just go look at a lake or you could just watch it on Netflix or something. Uh, go call someone you love, and as Joyce says, tell them that you love them, and don't you dare, don't you dare forget, and Sedona's so magical, I don't think I can forget it while I'm here at least, don't you forget your magic. Okay, I'll see you Friday, bye, oh no, I'll see you Monday, wait, tomorrow's Friday, right? Say good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. I miss my mom. Okay, I'll see you Monday. <laughs>